exponential function rules from tables. Now, whenever I'm writing an exponential function rule, it will be of the form f of x equals a times b to the x, where a is my start value and b is my growth factor. This means that when I'm writing a function rule from a table, I need to be able to find the start value a and the growth factor b from the table. Let's go ahead and look at this first example. In this first example, I have years x and number of bears f of x. To write a function rule representing the situation, I need to find the start value and the growth factor. The start value is going to be how many bears are there at the beginning, at the start. Mathematically, what that means is, what is the value of f of x when x is 0? How many bears are there when the number of years is 0? I find that in this first row of my table. So when x is 0, f of x is 3. In the beginning, I had three bears. Now, I got really lucky that this was in the first row, but that won't always be the case. So just be careful. Make sure you're not just looking for the first row, but you're looking for what is the value of f of x when x is 0. Next, I need to find the growth factor. The growth factor is what I am multiplying f of x by to get the next value. So what am I multiplying 3 by to get 15? What am I multiplying 15 by to get 75? And so on. Now, it's great if you can just look at the table and identify that growth factor. What am I multiplying 3 by to get 15? I can just look at it and say, hey, the growth factor is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 5 is 75. And then I know because I made the table that 75 times 5 is 375. And 375 times 5 is 1,875. What would I do if I couldn't just look at the table and identify that growth factor? In order to figure out what I'm multiplying by, I would use division. So in order to answer the question, what am I multiplying by 3 to get 15, I would do 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So in order to answer the question, what times 3 is 15, 15 divided by 3 equals 5, my growth factor is 5. I can find the growth factor using any two consecutive rows in the table. So I could have done 70 to 5 divided by 15. 75 divided by 15 is also 5. I could have done 375 divided by 75, that's 5. Or 1875 divided by 375, that is also 5. Now I have my start value 3, my growth factor 5, and I can write my function rule. When I'm writing my function rule, I always start with f of x, or y equals. And then I write my start value a, 3, times my growth factor 5 to the x. It's also totally fine with me if you prefer to write this as f of x equals 3 times 5 to the x. Those are equally a-ok. -okay. It shows me I start with 3, and then I repeatedly multiply by 5. In addition to using the table to write the function rule, I can also use the table to answer some questions about the situation. So how many bears will there be after two years? The information I'm being given is that x equals 2. And then I'm asked to find what is f of x. So after two years, x equals 2. f of x equals 75. There are 75 bears. So use the table to look for what is the number of bears after two years. I can also be told the value of f of x. So there are 375 bears, tells me that the value of f of x is 375. And I go to my table and see what is x. x is 3. That tells me that after three years, there are 375 bears.